$1 million. Is it too hard to reach that milestone? At first, it may seem like making a million dollars is an overwhelming task, especially if you've never made that much money. This may seem like an old-fashioned goal, but the truth is around 1,700 new millionaires appear every day. That is, more than 620,000 new millionaires every year. How do they do it? Why are so many people becoming millionaires? And why can't you do the same? Well, the answer is simple. There are mainly two ways to earn $1 million, the slow and the fast way. You curious? Let's discuss today about both ways, their advantages and disadvantages, and which is the best option for you. Before we dive into the details, smash that like button so that the videos will reach a broader audience. And also, subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video. Let's get started. At first, we will explain the slow and steady way to become a millionaire. This method can be used for anyone who has an average income. All you need is a little bit of consistency, patience, and mathematics. Let's say you want to make $1 million in 10 years. As you know, on average, stock market returns 8 to 10% every year. That is if you are investing in an S&P 500 index fund. Let's be cautious and take 8% for our calculation. You will have to invest $5,466.09 every month for 10 years to reach that goal. Yes, that's a big amount to invest in every month. But if you change that goal to 20 years, your monthly amount reduces to $1,697. And for 30 years, it's just $670. Investing $670 every month is affordable for most of them in a developed country if you live below your means. But what if you are from a developing country where your average salary is even lower? In a developing country, your expenses will be much lower than that of a developed country. For example, $1 million in India is approximately 7.3 crore rupees, which is a big amount if you live there. But $1 million in Singapore is approximately 1.37 million Singapore dollars, which is not that much considering a private apartment in Singapore costs close to a million. So it's not really about making $1 million, but it's about how much you need to be financially free, depending on the country you are living and the expenses you have. So find out how much you need to be financially free. Get the monthly investing amount, set a time frame, and invest consistently. You can use any compound interest calculator to get this data. Now, let's go the fast way to make a million dollars. I know what you're thinking. No, it's not gambling or winning the lottery, and also it's not get-rich-quick schemes. Investment Academy always thinks long-term. So, when we are talking about the fast way, we are actually talking about a period of 5 to 10 years. We do not recommend anyone to try to get rich in less than 5 years, because ultimately, you will end up in some kind of a mess. To become a millionaire in 5 to 10 years, you will probably have to start some business or have to be in the top 1% of a profitable profession. Only do this if you are passionate about something. Don't start a business just thinking about money. Why do we emphasize on this? Because a business may take a while to become profitable, and for some years you will have to work without any income. It's a long-term hustle, and if you are not passionate about it, you will quit soon. Do not believe the lies the internet is showing you. The vacations they are showing, easy money, money-making courses are all just lies. Running a business means you are in action 24-7. You may not even be able to take a vacation in the first few years. Understand the reality and use common sense. So, for the fast method, it all depends on how valuable you are to the market as a business or a person. If the market thinks you deserve $1 million or more, then you will earn that amount for sure. Doctors, lawyers, and senior management average more than $150,000 per year. If you are really good at what you do and are hyper-professional, you can double or even triple your salary. The highest paying job with the lowest barriers to entry is sales. If you know how to sell, you can make tons of money wherever you are. But this fast option comes with a catch, the risk. Starting a business and going on your own has a higher risk than our slow method. 
you can go broke again after 10 years if something happens to your business. So it is important that you innovate and be on the top all the time, which requires your complete attention and focus. So which is the best option for you? Well, if you are someone who likes to work on a job and can't stand the ups and downs of a business, then you are better off going the slow way. And when you are going the slow way, do not try to time the market or invest in single stocks. Keep buying index fund or mutual fund and forget it. Just don't mind if the market goes up or down because over the long run, it will surely go up. And also, it's okay to work in a 9-to-5 job that you like. But if you're someone who likes the hustle of running a business, then go ahead and follow the fast way. There's a possibility of losing it all, but because of your mindset, you will not quit and will keep trying. Remember that money rarely falls from the sky in the form of a lottery. So stop being idle and work hard until you succeed. Which option will you choose to make a million dollars? Share it to the world in the comment section. If you have any specific topic that you want us to discuss, share it in the comment section as well. So that's all folks. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And do subscribe to our channel to get updates on our new videos.